Hi, welcome to another Microvillain presentation. I'm Matt Davies and today we're going to be discussing estimating. So what I've drawn here is a kitchen straight out of the, the library of products and I'm going to demonstrate how quickly we can get this into a quote and also some reports for labour values and for costing. So I'm going to create a work order from the products. Select all my products in this room. I've opened up my work order here. There's all my parts. So we don't have to do any more at this point except for coming up to our reports and opening up our quote report. So there's the quote report. So here you'll see the total cost, who we prepared the uh, quote for, all of the products that are in the quote, and total price including tax. We can change the tax level here change the name of the tax. Up here you'll notice we've got some buttons that we can tick and untick. So if this project wasn't going to include installation and shipping, we can untick those and hit submit and it'll update that price based on not shipping and installing. We can also do the same for assembly. So if you are doing a flat pack, we can take the assembly out of it and there's your total price with the assembly taken out of it. We can also adjust the markup and overhead percentages here. So it's really easy to make quick changes and save these reports as either PDF or you could even export them to Excel if you wanted to make further adjustments in there. We've got terms and conditions that uh, can be modified on there. So very professional looking quote. From there I can jump into my labor report. So the labour report, let's maximise this up here for you, the labour report is going to give me accurate times for panel cutting. So this is border, border cuts on, on the machine, whether that be a panel saw, a beam saw or a nesting machine. The vertical drilling, we know exactly how many drill drops are in this project. So there's 1,227 drill drops and I'm saying that we can do 25 drill drops per minute. So there's my quantity there, my routing time, routing labour as well. So how many metres a minute I can feed that um, based on an average and then the how many metres there are in the project. Part labour labelling as well. So labelling a few parts, I'm allowing 0.1 of a minute. So we've got 165 labels to put on and that's 16 and a half minutes. So that's my total machining time. And I have my edge banding time again two meters per minute of edge banding, 133 meters at 66 minutes. So these values are very easy to change. We'll get into where we do that um, in just a second. So you can see here we've got our part handling. So this is moving parts around the factory, our part assembly labor. So this is assembling a part. So there's my total time in minutes. Then we come up to the hardware. So here you'll notice I've got screws. I know that I've got 156 screws in those pro in those products based on the construction holes and adding hardware to that which is a new feature. Also here I've got my draw systems so I've got Tanner Box Antaro draw runners I've got 20 minutes per draw system there and I've got 17 of them. We've got some Blummer Ventos bifold hinges, so I can put times to those. So all of the hardware can have a time allocated to it in the material file now, which is just fantastic. Makes it so easy and fast to set this up. Inspection and packaging, so that's how long it takes to inspect and package a product. And then loading and unloading of the truck. And then installation. Okay, so that's 49.75 hours in total for that project. All of these as well can have the times taken out of it. So if you're just wanting to get a machining time for the project, you can take off everything else and hit submit and it'll just give you the machining time of 3.98 hours. It's great for installation. If you do have a contract installer and you want to tell them how long you've allowed, then there you go, it's 14 hours of install time. So that's the, uh, the labor report. 
So then we have our costing report. So the cost report is like the labour report and all the materials all rolled into one with the dollar values. So here I've got all of my sheet materials, the sheet stock, so my colour board 18 mil, some grain board in there and some white melamine. So how many metres of that I've got, as well as the waste factor, that's factoring on all of that, and the total material cost. Then some solid stock there, some uh, hayfully extrusion. We've got some buyout materials, so I've got some 40 mil stone countertops. We've got the edge banding. I can tell you exactly how many meters or lineal feet, as well as how much that's going to cost. You can also add a waste factor to edge banding. Then I go to my all my labor, all my hardware materials. So my screws, how much I pay for those. My plumb draw kits. So all that information is in there. So it's $5,771 in materials, and then I come into the labor. So I've got my panel cutting. I'm allowing $250 an hour on the machine for that. You can adjust all of these values really easily, which I'll get to in just a second. So edge banding labor, part handling labor, and how long it takes to put your hardware assembly. So you've got screws here, you've got your drawers, slides, 20 minutes. So there's my thousand dollars worth of hardware assembly, product handling, inspection and packaging, loading and unloading. So there's all my costs. So there's my total cost down the bottom here. Again, we can manipulate and change any of those if we want to take any of those out. We can just untick whatever we want and it'll redo that price and just take all the labor values out of those and change the price down here. So it's really nice. So how does it work? All right. So notice down here we've got these activity stations. The activity stations is where we set all the values for the labor. So here I've got panel cutting. So in panel cutting, you'll see here the unit type I'm using lineal meters. That might be lineal feet if you're in Imperial. And then here is my feed rate. So I'm allowing four meters per minute of time on the machine to cut. One employee and my labor rate, $250. Vertical drilling. So I'm saying for each drill, I can do 25 drill drops per minute on the machine and my labor value, labor rate is $250 per hour. Routing, again, same thing. Horizontal drilling and boring. Same thing and part labeling so you can quantify how long it takes to put a label on. Edge banding again what your feed rate is and then your labor rate. So if you go out to your edge bander and you can quantify that you're edging you know 100 feet or 100 meters of edging and then time how long it takes then that's going to give you how many meters a minute. Simple as that you can just use a stopwatch out on the factory floor and get any of these values in minutes. Part assembly, so we're allowing five minutes per part. Hardware assembly, all you need in here is the labor rate because the value for the time is coming from the hardware itself. Part handling, so it's just moving your parts around the factory and how much you want to allow for that. And inspection and packaging, so how many minutes per, part, per product. So we're looking at products here, each product, and then your labor rate. Uh, finishing. Um, in finishing, you only need to have the labor rate. The finishing comes from the material itself. So if you have got sanding and painting, um, you have that um, labor, that rate is attached to the material itself. Installation and shipping. We have the loading and unloading of the truck. So it's by product and how long it takes per product and how many employees it takes to do that. And the labor rate. Shipping. Here we're doing it by a cubic meter or it's by volume. So it's either cubic meter or cubic feet and then you have your labor rate for that. So we're allowing $80 per cubic meter. Uh, that might be about $2.50, I think, if it was a cubic foot. Installation, here we're allowing 60 minutes per product at a labor rate of $85. So that's all you need to do is go through those to set up your labor and that will populate all of those labor, that labor report with those times. 
So let's get in and have a look and see how the materials are being priced and where that information is coming from. So I'm just going to come back out of my processing station and I'm going to come into my library specification groups here. So in my material file, I have my sheet stock. So in my sheet stock is say veneer board here. If I edit that material, you'll notice here I've got a labor value. So I can add labor time in minutes to that and it'll quantify that by the labor rate in the finishing. Same for solid stock, buy out and edge banding. So in edge banding, you can have a labor value if you want, otherwise you're just using your feed rate. So for example, if it was a timber veneer edge and you needed to do some additional sanding than what just comes off the machine, then you can put a labor value of whatever you like in there based on the unit type. So if it's a lineal meter or lineal fit, the foot, that's how many minutes it you're going to spend on each one of those. In your hardware, we have our draw systems, for example, say Blum, say Blum Antaro, in the white. So I've got my C height kit here, 50 kg. Here I can put in the estimating price, so this is how much I pay for it, and then this is how many minutes it takes to assemble that, and it's by each. So very simple to set up and very accurate for your times. And that's all you need to do. It'll take you less than probably half an hour to an hour to set up the estimating in microvellum and you'll be having getting accurate times and costing. Okay, so you might ask, well, what happens if we've got a custom product? So over here, I've just got a custom product that we've drawn in AutoCAD. And we're just gonna use Solid Model Analyzer to analyze that product and convert that into a microvolume product. So I'm going to go ahead now and analyze that. So it's going to go through and look for my material thicknesses. Okay, so it's found 19.5 material there. So I'm going to make that out of my plywood 19.5. It's also found some 19 mil. So I'll make that out of my three quarter inch plywood. 12.7, that's my half inch ply, and my six mil or quarter inch ply there. So I'll build that product in microvellum now. So that's um, just analyze that and rebuild that as a microvellum product with all of the machining data in there. So all I need to do to get an estimate of that is to send it to the processing station process that one product. That's complete. And there's all my parts in my parts list. So I can come up here to the reports, go to the quote report. And there we go. It's $4,556.90 for that product there. So how long is it going to take? Okay, let's have a look at our labor report. Okay, the total time on that, that up there, it's going to take us 16.93 hours. So on the machine, it's going to take 149 minutes. So I can just isolate that. Let's see what that is in hours. So the machining time is 2.5 hours, then edge banding time no edge banding in there. Assembly, how long it's going to take, it's 13 hours of assembly. Okay, inspection and packaging, so I can turn everything back on. So very fast at getting any custom product from the screen and into a quote and labor time. So what's great about these reports is that you can group up a whole bunch of work orders into one and or projects and get a accurate estimate on what your times are going to be for the next month or week whatever you want to do and see how long you know how many man hours you've got and see if, how your capacity is looking so it's really cool really fast for capacity planning um, 
and also accurate for your times. So, and fast to set up, simple to set up. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy that. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact with your account manager on how you can get a hold of this and upgrade your library to take full advantage of the new system. Thanks very much.